something I've known about for a very long time, something I've utilized for all of my working career, honestly. And it's this thing. It's it's not really a thing. It's more of a concept. And that concept is get more from your job than just a paycheck. I've known about this. Like I said, I've known about it and exercised it for over 15 years now. I've been working since I was 15 years old. And it wasn't until I heard a gentleman by the name of David Shantz. He said this, and of course, I resonated with it. I felt it, but then a light bulb went off like, I've never vocalized this. I've never vocalized it to my people. So let me go ahead and do that because I know it's important and I know it can help a lot of people. Too many times, majority folk wake up and go to a job that they don't necessarily care about. You may not hate it. You may not love it. But you're just chilling in the middle, right? It's just a paycheck. It's just a stream of income. It's just a way to support your livelihood. And that's understandable. I used to be one of those people. I used to be one of those people. And to a degree, I'm still one of those people. But we'll talk about that in another video. Wake up. Go to work. Clock in. Clock out. Go to work. Clock in. Clock out. Do that five times a week. 40 hours a week. You get your check at the end of the week. At the end of two weeks. However you get paid. But then that's it. That's it. You get your check, then what? So there has to be more. In my personal opinion, there has to be more. There has to be more. And I'm going to try not to overgeneralize here. So I'll use myself as an example. As always, I'm going to dial it in to me, give a couple examples so y'all can get the insight that I'm really trying to display here. We'll go back to my previous employer. The job that I held the longest, I was there for nine years and three months. Nine years and three months, and it was a car dealership on top of that. So you can bet your bottom dollar. I leveraged maintenance, car parts, car details. As far as the maintenance goes, 50% off, 75% off. As far as the car parts, pennies on the dollar, basically. As far as the detailing, I haven't paid for a car wash in over a decade. And even now that I don't even work there, I can still pull up and get a free car wash just because when you do good by people, people do good by you. That's universal law. It is what it is, but I feel like that's how it should be. So you're leveraging relationships while you're there. All the coworkers you have, all the people you work with, in the company that I worked for, huge company, big company, hundreds of employees, everybody you work with don't necessarily do the same thing outside of work that they do at work. Here's a prime example. I have a friend, I have a coworker, I used to work with, this guy breeds dogs. He breeds dogs outside of work. When I was looking for a specific dog, who do you think I consulted with? You guessed it, that coworker and so many other things, right? So we'll go to the customer aspect. Same thing, you got customers who come in, hundreds of customers day in, day out. Over nine years that I was there, you see the same faces coming and going. The same faces they see you, you see them. The embrace is warm. It got to a point where I started knowing these customers, first name, last name. They started knowing me, first name, last name, and I built multiple connections just through the customers. That may seem like a conflict of interest and to a degree it is, but at the end of the day, get more from your job than just a paycheck. I've met lawyers, I've met doctors, I've met CEOs, I've met coaches, entrepreneurs, real estate brokers, real estate agents, mortgage brokers, any profession you can think of i've met these people right i met these people and i've created a relationship i've created a connection we still keep in contact to this day still keep in contact to this day whenever i need to consult about any of those professions that i just listed i have their contact in my phone to reach out to them for whatever i need with that being said don't be a leech don't be a leech right whenever you're trying to get something from somebody Make sure you have something in return to give to them. We've heard the term, your network is your net worth, right? That's facts. That's big facts. Your job is a literal network of resources. I feel like it's completely underutilized, so that's the whole point of this video. Make sure you get more from your job than a paycheck. Make sure you're utilizing every resource, every potential opportunity. But like I said, make sure you have something to give in return because nobody likes a leech. Nobody likes to be mooched off of. So make sure those connections are genuine and make sure you have something to offer in return, whether it's now or in the future. Just keep those people in mind whenever you have something to offer and vice versa. Lastly, there's a book. 
There's a book. And I read this book, but it didn't hit me. A lot of successful people suggest this book. A successful person himself wrote this book, but it's a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. And I've been hearing about it for some years. And when I finally read it, I listened to it actually at work. It was about a four hour listen. And it made sense, but it was like nothing new to me. It's stuff that I had been doing for all of my life. So I'm just like, okay, this is a good book for people who is not necessarily a people person or not friendly and outgoing like myself. But How to Win Friends and Influence People is a really great read and it all pertains to everything I went over in this video. So like this video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I go by the name of Q and like I always say, if Q can make it happen, you can make it happen. I'll holler at y'all next video.